Exploring a timeless piece of cinema from 1933, this film takes audiences on a journey filled with humor, surprises, and touching moments that keep viewers hooked till the end. What makes this movie stand the test of time? That's something worth considering as you delve into its captivating storyline. As you watch, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. The movie delivers funny, shocking, and poignant scenes that leave a lasting impression. You might find yourself laughing one moment and reaching for a tissue the next, but the journey doesn't stop there. We want to hear from you. Do you have a special memory associated with this classic? Share your stories and experiences below. Your personal connection to the film adds depth to its legacy. So buckle up and get ready for an unforgettable ride through the streets of New York. There's so much more to discover about this piece of cinematic history, and we're excited to explore it together. Stay tuned for more surprising and heartwarming facts about this beloved movie. Keep watching to uncover the magic. What qualities do you think make this movie a symbol of the industry? Do you have a memorable moment associated with it? We would love to hear your stories and memories. In the realm of classic films, 42nd Street stands out as a game changer for musicals. It came out during the 1930s, a time when musicals were evolving. Unlike earlier ones, it blended stories smoothly into its song and dance routines. Against the backdrop of the Great Depression, the movie skillfully tells the tales of its characters, showing the tough times they faced. Lead characters like Dorothy Brock, Julian Marsh, and Annie struggle with personal and money issues while chasing their dreams on Broadway. The whole cast shines with their performances and the catchy songs, and amazing dance sequences by Busby Berkeley add to the film's charm. Plus, the budding romance between Ruby Keeler and Dick Powell adds another layer to the story. Even though Powell's role isn't huge, the movie still showcases the musical brilliance of its time, leaving viewers humming its tunes long after it's over. During the early 1930s, there was a remarkable publicity campaign in Hollywood involving a star-studded train journey known as the 42nd Street Special. This train traveled across the country, stopping in various cities to promote a famous musical. A diverse group of celebrities, including actors, athletes, and entertainers, embarked on this journey, capturing the public's attention. The campaign reached its peak in Washington, D.C., where the group showed their support for President Franklin D. Roosevelt during his first inauguration in March 1933. Shifting focus to a different aspect, one of the notable figures involved in the campaign hailed from a small town in Arkansas. The house where this individual was born remained standing as of early 2007, serving as a reminder of their humble beginnings and subsequent rise to fame. The historical marker on the porch of the house recounted significant events in this person's life, including engagements, marriages, and family matters. Furthermore, the movie associated with this campaign received recognition from the American Film Institute in 1998, underscoring its significance in American cinema history. In the realm of classic cinema, there exists a timeless gem set against the backdrop of the Great Depression era. This movie, a collaborative effort between a renowned actor and a visionary director, stands as a testament to the talent and charm of its ensemble cast. The actor, known for his wit and distinctive presence, brought depth and humor to his role, captivating audiences worldwide. His performance in the film not only showcased his immense talent, but also left a lasting impression on the history of cinema. The movie's storyline, intertwined with iconic musical numbers, continues to resonate with viewers transcending generations. Its enduring popularity speaks volumes about its impact on cinematic culture. The collaboration between the actor and the director has left an unforgettable mark on the silver screen, ensuring their names will be remembered among the greats. In essence, the actor's contribution to the success of the film is undeniable, underscoring his significance in the film industry. His performance remains a timeless example of his talent and the lasting influence he has had on cinema. In the film 42nd Street, viewers witness Virginia George's debut performance. The movie contains cracks about Philadelphia, which may require explanation for younger audiences. Back then, Philadelphia was considered a very conservative city. A popular joke from that time was that it was so boring that they rolled up the sidewalks at night, implying there was no nightlife. Additionally, Warners chartered a train to go from California to Washington at President Franklin D. Roosevelt's invitation. During this journey, they made 100 scheduled stops to promote the film. Among the stars talking to the camera in the promotional short are Preston Foster, Claire Dodd, Betty Davis, Leo Carrillo, Eleanor Holm, and Lyle Talbot, who narrated the official trailer. The Broadway musical adaptation of 42nd Street premiered in 1980, featuring Jerry Orbach and Tammy Grimes. 
a train named the 42nd Street Special journeyed from Hollywood to New York City for the movie's opening at the Strand Theater on March 8th. Warner Brothers contract players, including Joe E. Brown, Tom Mix, Betty Davis, and others, were on board and graced the stage after the screening. Dick Powell and Ruby Keeler were paired in seven Warner Brothers films, including 42nd Street, Gold Diggers of 1933, and Dames. The lyrics of the song Shuffle Off to Buffalo in the movie allude to a certain Winchell, indicating Walter Winchell, the inaugural syndicated gossip columnist in the United States. A subtle nod to predicting a couple's pregnancy, Winchell's name adds a touch of cultural reference to the storyline. Acknowledged for its musical prowess, the film earned a spot on the American Film Institute's 26th list of greatest movie musicals, joining the ranks of 25 esteemed productions. This recognition solidifies its place in the legacy of American cinema. A scene featuring B.B. Daniels showcases her reading the February 20, 1932 issue of The New Yorker magazine. Interestingly, the magazine cover, often thought to be the premiere issue from 1925, is in fact from 1932. The New Yorker tradition of running the premiere cover annually on the closest date to its inception clarifies this detail. The film subtly embeds a piece of historical accuracy within its visual narrative. In summary, 42nd Street incorporates references to Walter Winchell, secures a position in the AFI's list of greatest movie musicals, and pays attention to historical accuracy in its depiction of the New Yorker magazine. In the early days, there was a grand theater on Arch Saint in Philadelphia Pa. It was a big deal for the city's entertainment scene until it got torn down in 1936. People loved going there to see live shows, feeling the magic of the performances. One famous moment happened when Ginger Rogers decided to take on a big role there, thanks to her director boyfriend. Fast forward to 1998, and the National Film Registry thought the movie was super important for keeping in the Library of Congress. That meant future generations could still enjoy the awesome dance moves and songs from 42nd Street. The film is still loved today, giving us a glimpse into a fancier time. So whether you're watching the characters walk through lively New York City streets or enjoying the fantastic performances, 42nd Street is a piece of movie history that people really treasure. In one scene, when Billy Lawler tells Peggy Sawyer that he has liked her since she saw him in his BVDS, he's referring to a type of underwear popular at the time. The actual brand was Bradley, Voorhees, and Day shortened to BVD. Interestingly, this brand still exists today, having changed hands multiple times, including acquisition by Fruit of the Loom. The movie's poster achieved significant recognition, listed as seven in the 25 best movie posters ever by Premiere Magazine. Towards the movie's climax, there's a notable shot in the musical number, I'm Young and Healthy, where the camera tracks between the legs of the female dancers, ultimately focusing on Dick Powell and Toby Wing. The semi-erotic shot style was later employed in the film, the Big Lebowski during Jeff's dream sequence as he flies down the bowling lane. 